USA Boxing dual meet between the United States and Ireland. In the 147 pound contest, it was a close one between Walter Wright and Neil Goff. Walter Wright had a lot of hand speed and got, uh, got his shots in early. Neil Goff really was a very disciplined fighter, but just couldn't get his shots off like he wanted to. And uh, he was just too confused by Walter Wright. Walter Wright able to get inside, do enough, and at 18 years old, able to get this victory. At 165 pounds, Eric Kelly and Kevin Walsh squared off in a close bout. We get ready for action at 156. Saku Powell of New York goes up against John Duddy. John Duddy, an intermediate champion for Ireland in 1998. 20 years old. And across the way, Saku Powell. Trying to build on an unpleasant experience, which we'll get into. He was disqualified in the team trials last year for the United States, but what a turnaround he's had. South pause for Sue Powell. Good left hand by Powell. Duddy's outside that right foot, though. Good right hook by Powell. And a straight left hand. So Duddy gives him a headlock. Don't blame him for that. Duddy trying to score with the lead right hand. Couldn't get it through. Duddy coming forward like he is. Uh, as Powell starts hitting him with that straight left hand coming in, it could be a short fight. That's one way to go against the southpaw, a triple left hook yep. by Duddy. He's got outside that left, that lead right foot for Powell. It's the first guy we've seen tonight that knows what he's doing in there against southpaw. He just walked into a good straight left hand by Powell. <laughs> Some speed by Powell. There's a left hook by Duddy. That comes in with the right hand. Duddy doesn't seem confused by the southpaw style. Ooh. May not be confused, but he certainly felt the wrath of it right there. Stunned. Opening round, drawing to a close as Saku Powell gets acquainted with John Duddy. Double hook. All right, listen to me. Nice going, listen. He's a sucker for your right hand. You understand? Well, yeah. left or right? Straight right left or straight right? Straight right hand. Straight left. Stop off. He's a sucker for it all day long, okay? I want, you to, step, I want you to step a little bit deeper to your right. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, for the jab. Remember what I said before? Mm -hmm. A little bit deep in. Okay, and set him up just like you do. He's open for it all day. Then come, come off of that with the hook. Okay. He's right there. You can hook him to that. Well, what you have to do, you have to keep your hand up. He's throwing that hook at you. Okay. Got that left hook on you. Keep that hand up and then just throw you straight left. Keep, keep my right hand up. Yeah. Yep. That's all he's hitting you with is that okay. hook. Mm -hmm. Okay, good work. Board. Okay, good. back him up. I don't want you backing right. up at all. He's become a better student of the game and a good source to learn it from Gloria yeah. Peake, U.S. assistant coach here. Really knows her stuff. Very, yes, she does. very knowledgeable and motivational for these boxers. Second round action. Saku Powell and John Duddy. <laughs> Powell trying to go with his jab and then loop around the height and reach edge here of Dunny. Cool Powell seems to be trying to load up a little bit more with that left hand. And his corner told him to have the right hand, 
but he scored with the left. The corner called him, this guy's a sucker for your right hand. But he found his own opening there with the straight left, and he drilled it down the middle. Another good left hand by Powell. He's, he's uh, shook Duddy a couple times, but Duddy just keeps coming on. It's good that he uses the jab to set up that left hand as well. Yes, he does. His unbelievable hand speed, doesn't he? Yeah, it really does, not it? It's important that he puts that power hand right behind the jab at the split second follow-up, and before Duddy can respond to the jab, the big left hand is already on him. Let's see if he steps over now and throws that left, right hook, left hand. That's what they told him to do. Step over and throw the right hook and the left hand right down the street. Well, he didn't quite get that done, and so Duddy scores as Powell is wrestling with his headgear. Powell with another hand. quick one. So some sharp shooting by Siku Powell in that round. Very impressive. Siku Powell got a very rude wake-up call. Now he's ready to step up. Well, um, I feel like I gained more than I lost in that tournament. Um, I'm now a more disciplined athlete, a more poised person, not only in the ring but outside the ring and everything I do. I try to I try to evaluate the situation, whatever that it may be, you know, and, and just approach it slowly. And that's with everything, even in the ring. Uh, um, I see a little bit more in the ring now. Um, opportunities I can go after now because I'm a, I'm a calmer fighter because of what happened to me. You know, it really set me back, but at the same time, it gave me the fuel and the motivation to go on. So I would have to say that um, it helped me. It helped me, and I appreciate it. I appreciate that loss. Yeah. I'll set him up. Come back with the